Probably the favorite thing that I got <laughs> is this mouse. Okay, so this is probably going to be the best haul of the entire year. This this was really, really good. Um, I'm going to try to go pretty quick because this is probably going to have to be in two parts because I have so much stuff. A little bit of background on where I got this stuff. So if you guys know, a couple weeks ago, I had a garage sale at my sister's house. The person that lives next door to my sister, which is her father-in-law, if you guys will remember last year, I did a, let's see, was it last year? Might have been a few years ago, a couple years ago. They cleaned out his attic, and I went on a private pick, and I believe that that was in like three parts. Well, they had cleaned out his house in anticipation of this garage sale, and they let me come and look early. And I got a ton of stuff, like I got a bunch of stuff. I spent $100 for everything I got, but I think I can do pretty good on it. Plus, on top of that, the morning of our garage sale, my sister's father, we're half-sisters, so we got same mom, different dads. Anyway, you, you guys know that. Well, you don't know that, but you do now. <laughs> um, anyway, they were having a garage sale the same day we were having one. So they let us come and look early that early early that morning it was still dark when I went over there but I got several things from her as well one more thing there is a neighborhood yard sale tomorrow and Scott and I are going to go to that okay that's it so now let's go ahead and get started <laughs> okay so what I'm going to show you first is the stuff that I got from that morning garage sale because it's not a whole lot it's just a few things but I want to go ahead and show you those first okay so um, I ended up picking up this green hen on a nest and she had, I bought for my mom in the 60s. Uh, she had a dollar on that. I also picked up these three little vintage mice. I don't think they're too, too old. I'm going to say probably maybe 70s or 80s, but there's two of these and they are actually home co. So there's two of those, and then this little guy here. Very, very cute. And I think she had, I think she sold me those for like, it's got $1.50 on the bottom, but she didn't charge me that. I think she charged me like a quarter each for them. Probably the favorite thing that I got <laughs> is this mouse. Look at this mouse. Isn't he cute? I paid 50 cents for him, and um, he doesn't have any markings on the bottom with the exception of, it looks like the letters MC, like that. I looked him up and I should, if I were to sell him, which I'm not going to because I love him. He is just darling. Look at that little face. <laughs> if I were to sell him, I think I could probably get about 12 to 15 for him, so... That was good, but I'm going to keep him because he's too cute. She also had this. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, the hen on nest. I should be able to get about 15 or 20 for that. I can't remember if I told you that or not. She had this Pekingese statue, dog statue, in really, really good condition. Um, no chips or cracks. There is, uh, it needs to be cleaned a little bit, but it has a name on the back. I can't read what that says. I'm not sure if that says... Okay. We got some drama going on here in Kentucky. He wanted me to... That was a text message from Scott. Wanted me to go and look at the new story that just came out. It looks like this says Harwall. I can't really tell and it's probably... I don't know if it's going to show up. If you all can read that. Um... But anyway, that's the, the stamp on the back. So I haven't done a whole lot of research on this, but I know that these, um, these dog statues and cat statues can go for pretty good money. So I'm hoping that I'll be able to make some money on that. I'm thinking I paid like maybe $5 or something for it. 
Okay, um, these right here, I thought they would be worth more. These are Goebbels, and they have this little piece of paper that went with it, like that. This one here is called Eek. It's a little girl, and she's being chased by a puppy, pulling on her on her little dress or underwear, whatever that is. It's got the little sticker right there, and of course on the bottom. I looked this up, and I think one sold for like six bucks. So these Goebbels are very funny because some of them don't go for anything and some of them go for big, big money. I wasn't sure on these, but I went ahead and picked them up and I paid up for these. I paid 30 for both. So this is that one I thought was really, really cute um, since they're not worth squat, pretty much. Um, I'm probably just gonna keep them and you, uh, use them as decoration in the, in the grandkids' room. This one is called um, Say Ah. Yeah, here's the little paper on that. And it's a little boy, and he's dressed like a doctor. And he's, uh, you know, doing a little exam on his on his little uh, basset. I guess that's a basset hound. Doing a little exam on his basset hound. So I thought that was very, very cute. Um, the sticker's still on that one. So anyway, and these are the Goebel Redheads. Um, somebody actually... Um, told me that uh, as far as keyword to look up because I wasn't finding these and they said look up global redheads so thank you very much <laughs> I think that's all I got from her so now let's go ahead and get started on uh, where they cleaned out the the man's house okay so I got this picture it's of a woman very very pretty it has these uh, corner things this one this this one's missing the corner thing but what was so very unique about this is the stand on it see that stand I'd never seen a stand like that I thought that was really really cool um, the picture cannot be removed to put another picture um, but anyway and I'm not, I have no idea what this is worth I haven't done any research on that then now, what I'm showing you now is part of the $100 stuff. So, then I got this um, vintage salt box. And I thought that it was supposed to have a lid, but I think because it's a salt container, it does not have a lid. It just is open like that. But I believe, I've looked online, this is a, called a Hoosier ribbed salt box. Um, selling this, I should be able to get about 15 to 20 for this, so that was good. Then I got this cat, and it says, hand-painted Pacific Japan is the sticker on the bottom. And it is a pincushion. I paid a dollar for this. Actually, this is part of, uh, I'm sorry, this is part of what I got uh, with the cat and the little mice and stuff. Paid a dollar for this. It's a pin cushion, and then the uh, tongue is a tape measure. Comes out. From what I've, uh, the research that I've done online, uh, this is from the 50s. And selling this, uh, it is in almost perfect condition with the exception of this tiny little chip right there um, outside of that everything is good on it has uh, pins in it I, I'm hoping to be able to get about 30 to 35 for this I picked up this uh, vintage cast iron cat bank and I believe it's got a penny or coin or something that I might ought to open that and see what's in that anyway got that um, I did research on this. It looks like I can probably get about 15 to 20 for him. This is a <clears throat> vintage McCoy hand vase in beautiful condition. No issues at all with this. Um, and there's the bottom, what the bottom looks like. Uh, research has told me that I should be able to get about 20 for this. I'm hoping with about just maybe four or five pieces in this whole entire haul, I should be able to make my money back. So everything 
after that total profit. I got this enamel ware teapot. And this around here is, I don't know if you can tell that or not, but it is blue, not black. And for some reason, I don't know why, but the blue does better than the black. So I don't know. Then I got this, um, I want to call it like a genie lamp <laughs> or a, I don't know, but it's a little oil lamp. It does have Made in Japan sticker on the bottom. In really good condition. Uh, no chips or cracks. There is a little bit of what looks like maybe some gold paint loss there, but outside of that, it's in great condition. They had at this sale quite a few wall pockets. And if there was a lot of them that were damaged that had chips or cracks, and so I didn't get a whole lot, but I did get some. These are in pretty good condition. They are... Uh, like fruit teapots and there is no sticker or stamp on them um, they do have a little bit of crazing and the only thing that I noticed was on this one right here that is not a chip it is it almost reminds me of where the glaze didn't completely cover but it's it's smooth it's not you know it's just like a kind of like a rubbed area or something. Next up is this Fenton uh, piece. And this is a Fenton green satin candy dish. Um, did a little bit of research on this. There is the Fenton, if you can see that on the inside of the lid. I thought that this would go for more. Um, but it looks like online I can probably get about 20 for this. So, ooh, guys, it is free. My hands are so cold. <laughs> These are actual uh, vintage. These are not reproductions. They are jadeite salt and pepper shakers. And I know you can see that. This one, the pepper is cracked. It's on the bottom and the front. So, and the lids don't match. So I'm gonna keep these because this jadeite, especially the vintage jadeite, it's very hard to find uh, without it being a reproduction. And I know these people, and I know that this, these are not reproductions, these are the real deal. So I'm gonna keep these and hopefully see if I can find matching lids for them and use them myself. Because even though that's cracked, you can still use it. I mean, you can still use, you know. So anyway, keeping those. <laughs> Next up is this wall pocket. It has Japan on the back. I've never seen anything like this. It is a polar bear wall pocket. And there's the stamp on the back. Um, haven't done any research on this, uh, so I'm not exactly sure how much this is worth, but anyway, there's him. I got a um, amber hen on a nest. Uh, same with this is the green one. I should be able to get about 15 to 20 for this. Okay, so. next is these wall pockets. And they are birds. Um, they're in good condition. No chips or cracks. There's no, uh, well, yeah, there is. I'm sorry, there is a marking. It just says, and you all probably can't see it because it's so faint. On the bottom there, it says USA. Oh, yeah, you can see it. So, anyway. Uh, very good condition. They do have crazing on them, but I don't think that that's a big deal. Uh, so anyway, yeah, there's those. So that is it for the first part of this haul. <laughs> if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys another day. Bye! Bye.